Yes, one important thing to note that not all swellings are uncontrolled cell divisions. Eh? Not all swellings are uncontrolled cell division. Sometimes they might be controlled. For example, when you have an allergic response, an allergic response, still, for, ex for example, you're allergic to the cold. Some, sometimes people tend to have some swellings within the eyes. So still, the cells around there shall coordinate themselves, produce chemicals, which chemicals will cause them to multiply an increasing number, causing that swelling. However, when the conditions go back to normal, that swelling can disappear and you go back to normal. So one thing I did to note, not all swellings are uncontrolled. Sometimes it can be controlled in order to respond to a various stimuli. Next is endocrine cell signaling. So uh, we first discussed about paracrine cell signaling and we said in paracrine cell signaling, the, whenever a signaling molecule is, re is released, it causes changes but within cells of the same proximity. However, sometimes cell, the signaling molecule, molecules have to travel for long distances. Have to travel long distances. Have to travel long distances. So whenever you travel for long distances, that ceases to be paracrine cell signaling and it becomes endocrine cell signaling. And this is usually involves hormones. Eh? Hormones. Hormones, which hormones are, are either produced within plants or animals. Eh? Animals, examples of plant hormones, you have auxins, gibberellins. Ethylene. Then these animal hormones are mean testosterone, testosterone, insulin, and the others. But let me use insulin as an example. Uh, you know that insulin is, is produced by the pancreas, by the pancreas. But one of the functions of insulin is to reduce the sugar levels and. This insulin usually has its effects on the muscles. So they are going to travel from the pancreas to the muscles. And if I'm to try to sketch myself here, my pancreas is located a little bit here. I'm assuming now insulin has to travel like this until when it reaches maybe the cells here, the cells there. So in endocrine cell signaling, the ligands travel for long distances before they reach their receptor sites. Receptor sites. And the signaling molecules can either float freely in blood, it can float freely in blood, it can float freely in blood, or they can have carriers. Eh? Carriers, and this is very common for hydrophobic molecules. Hydrophobic molecules as we discussed before we talked of the LDL LDL then things like testosterone these molecules are hydrophobic so they can't float freely in blood they have carriers that will transport them to their various receptor sites but one take away, take away to home the signaling molecules must travel for long distances that is endocrine cell signaling so all, all that we've discussed about, from paracrine cell signaling, synaptic, we've talked of endocrine, we've talked of autocrine. There is production of a ligand, a ligand, which ligand always needs what we call a mediator to be transported to its receptor site. But in juxtacrine, or what they call contact dependent signaling, here we don't need any mediator. We need any mediator. The signaling molecule moves from one cell, moves from one cell to another, moves from one cell to another free. For example, if I have my cells here, Of my cells here. This is a plant cell. I'm making an assumption. The plant cells. These are plant cells. 
So plant cells have what we call plasmodesmata matter connections. Eh? Plasmodes matter. These ones here, these these dots here are the plasmodes matter connections. So whenever a signal the signal wants to move from here to here, or it can move from here to here, just is recrossing the cell membrane of one cell to another without any mediator. Then also our animal cells some don't have plasmodes matter, but sometimes they can have projecting structures on the on their cell surface membrane which can communicate with other cells. So a signaling wave you can just move here, pass here and it will be intercepted by this cell just like that. The, the signaling wave you move from one cell to another minus having any mediator because the cells are connected together.